Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and after some riding, and again, I'm still fat, but I'm starting to starting to lose weight. I want to provide my feedback as to is Zwift a better app, or is Peloton a better app, and why? And for starters, obviously, if you've subscribed to my channel, if you've checked out my playlist, you know that I use the Schwinn IC4 for both of these apps. Now, obviously, there's other bike options, but this for me price, performance, and just ease of use has been, has been excellent so far. But So this is the TV that I use, and you can find all of this linked within this video's description. But this is the TV I use for Zwift and also for the Peloton app. Now Zwift, from, a, from an app perspective, is a little bit different animal. So with it, you can even use a computer. Like in my case, I use a Mac. So I can plug my Mac computer in and run Zwift from my Mac computer to get really, really cool graphics, you know, just super, super smooth <clears throat> because it's running from a, you know, from a computer instead of a phone or a tablet. With that said, Zwift will also run from a phone or tablet. And a lot of times if I've got my, because I use a laptop, MacBook Pro, if I've got my computer in use elsewhere and I don't feel like bringing it into my workout room, and connecting it, I'll just fire up Zwift on my on my iPhone and uh, use AirPlay because this this display is compatible with AirPlay. AirPlay it to the big screen and I'm good to go. Well, if I'm watching something else on the big screen and I'm using Zwift, I can just put my, you know, I can just set my iPhone right here and use the small screen and use my big TV for watching YouTube or whatever I want to do while I work out. <clears throat> so, and then Zwift obviously also has an Apple TV 4K app. So if you've got an Apple TV and you want to run it off of that, you know, Zwift is very, uh, there's a lot of flexibility with how to use Zwift. Also, the Zwift will work with, uh, it'll work with the, you know, this, this IC4 comes with a heart rate monitor, but I prefer to use Apple Watch. Apple Watch works fine with my Zwift. Whether I'm using Zwift on my laptop, Zwift on my iPhone. I personally don't use Zwift on Apple TV because if I want the best graphics, I'm just going to use my computer. And if I want the quick setup and go, I just use my iPhone. So from, a, from an ease of use perspective and being able to choose among various hardware, Zwift is super cool. Now Zwift, and now we're going to get into the, <clears throat> the comparison of of uh well let's let's jump over to peloton next so peloton at least at this point in time to my knowledge does not have a computer app so if you use a mac or a pc there's probably not an app you can use to use peloton peloton does have the iphone app which is what i use for peloton uh, they also have an apple tv app and they also have a fire tv you know for fire stick and i've got a fire stick 4k in this as well I installed the uh, the Peloton Fire, you know, Amazon Fire app, and although it worked well, what I couldn't figure out, and maybe y'all could help me, I couldn't figure out how to link my cadence from my Schwinn IC4 <clears throat> and my heart rate from my Apple Watch when I was using the Fire TV app. Now, when I use the iPhone app for Peloton, works great, and I've got a video how to set that up. I use my Apple Watch to monitor my heart rate within the Peloton app when I'm using it for my iPhone and I, I just, you know, use AirPlay to stream it to the screen. And also the cadence, which is from my bike. So that part works great. So, and again, these two, these two cycling apps being completely different. Now keep in mind, Zwift will do cycling and running. Peloton app will do cycling, running, and a whole bunch of other things. So there's a lot more in the Peloton app than simply cycling and running. You know, so that's something to take into consideration. Now, um, <clears throat> you know, my primary thing is going to be cycling because that's when I got my indoor cycle. Because I got, you know, I don't know if you heard my story, but I was I was out on a on a road bike many years ago and a minivan hit me. So ever since that happened, I've stopped road biking because it's just there's too many distracted drivers. There's too many people. Um, on the roadways that are, you know, that are, it's always been the case. People have always been under the influence. But now, 
you've got these distracted texting while drivers, texting while driving drivers, and it just doesn't give me the warm and fuzzies to get on the road in a vehicle, much less a bicycle. You know, so for that reason, I wanted a reliable indoor cycling workout. So I get the same type of workout, you know, I'm getting that, I'm getting the cardio, you know, I'm really working my legs. It's just a good feeling. You know, something I grew up doing uh, pre-cell phones, <laughs> pre-text messaging, you know, back when people actually paid attention to the road and what's in front of them. But uh, yeah, so, you know, cycling is my main thing. Now, that segues us into the part Zwift versus Peloton for cycling. You know, let's focus upon that. So from, <clears throat> if, if you're looking at a simulator, you know, you want to you wanna simulate the road, uh, you want to simulate having other riders around, you want to have the competitive components, you want to have the leveling up components, you know, the virtual trophies, this, that, and the other. Zwift does a phenomenal job with that. You know, you're in a, it's a virtual world, so it's 3D rendered, but there's there's cities, like there's New York, there's something called Watopia, there's um, there's Paris, and, and, they, and Zwift does a good job of rotating out those, uh, those locations. So you really get a sense, even though it's rendered, you know, it's a computer-generated world, and, and some of it is embellished. Like when you, when you look at New York, they've got all these, these see-through uh, roadways and stuff. It's really cool what they've done. I mean, it's, it's interesting. Now, for me, to do Zwift, I collect a lot of data within Zwift. You know, the, the miles that I've traveled and, um, you know, various metrics, you know, calories burned, this, that, and the other. So to be able to see all that information is super nice. Um, you know, it's, you know, Zwift is a simulator. You know, you can, you can ch ch uh, change camera angles of the bike. You can be behind yourself. You can be beside yourself. You can be first person view where you don't even see yourself. It's just like you're behind the handlebars. So, you know, there's a lot of flexibility there as far as um, is customizing it for your personal preference. There are competitive things. You know, you can you can join races. You can you can train. You can do this, that, and the other. You can just free ride. Now, the one thing that I've found, and again, I'm not a super professional cyclist when it comes to group rides and and that sort of stuff. I was always a guy that went out and you know knocked out when I did my road bike 20 miles or so on the road, just doing my own thing, my own pace. So. You know, I'm not up, you know, super savvy when it comes to all the different types of, of uh, group bike rides and competitions, this, that, and the other. I've done a few in real life, but I'm not, I guess I'm not a cycling nerd. If you are a cycling nerd, you're really going to appreciate what you get in Zwift. I mean, it's a, it is a, a cycling simulator. And Zwift works great with the Swin IC4. I love it. But there's a lot of people that have their own road bikes and they add all of these uh, Zwift compatible accessories. I think Wahoo is one of the brands. So in essence, they can uh, even further amplify the realism of Zwift, of the Zwift cycling experience. So think of Zwift as a cycling simulator. So if you're a hardcore road bike cyclist, you've got a road bike, you invest in the equipment that's compatible with Zwift to use your road bike indoors with Zwift, you can really make it a, you know, just a, a super real, realistic experience while not on a, a physical road, you know, while you're on a virtual road. So that's the big thing about Zwift. You know, think of Zwift more as a simulator. So if you're self-motivated and, you know, you're, you're, you mentally condition yourself, okay, I'm going to ride 25 miles today, and you use Zwift as a tool to keep you motivated and, you know, track your progress, that's great because it does a good job doing that. Where you'll find that Zwift, if you're not of the cyclist mentality, you know, getting out and, you know, knocking out 25, 30, 50 miles or whatever, if you don't have that mindset, then you may find, unfortunately, and I hate to say this because it's such a great product, but you may find Zwift to be a little bit boring. You know, you may not have, you know, even though you can chat with other riders and there's sound effects and you know, there's little challenges that pop up throughout a ride. Even with all of that, you may find that Zwift may not have the motivational components that you're looking for. And that is what, uh, actually a, a viewer of my channel, they said, hey man, have you tried the Peloton app? And, and I hadn't. And I said, no, I said, 
you know, and it was it was unfair for me to say this, but it was my honest opinion. I'm like, I'm thinking, you know, Peloton is probably just a mass marketed piece of software, and you know, you know, you can use Peloton now with with your own bike. It's not like you got to buy a Peloton branded bike. But I'm like, you know what? I'll check it out. I think they may have a free trial, so I checked it out. And I'm a self motivated individual. You know, I don't need somebody in my face telling me to do this, do that. You know, I don't in any in most situations somebody in my face telling me to do something, it's going to work in the opposite way. You know, it's going to make me irritated. I'm not going to perform as well. What I will say, and this, this, I mean, this blew my mind. With Peloton, I installed it, low expectations, of course, but I wanted to be fair. Fired up my first cycling app, ride, and, uh, and then I paired my Apple Watch, and I paired my iPhone, and then boom it's on my iphone it works that was good that was easy to set up when i set it up the iphone was tall and narrow i'm like oh no this is not going to work <laughs> simple as soon as you get into the ride you rotate your phone and then boom it goes widescreen it worked great the instructor and i've i've used peloton apps several times now and actually we'll talk about this at the end of the video but i've used it several times now and the instructors are motivational um they've got a good personality and they motivate you without you realizing that they're motivating you. So for me, for example, with Peloton app, a ride, you know, just a basic ride. I didn't do anything super long yet. Haven't done anything super long yet, but a 15 or 20 minute ride, because I'm listening to them and they're telling you to get up and they're telling you to change the resistance and, and uh, you know, stand and then sit on the seat. You know, they're constantly coaching you, but they're providing inspiration and, and entertainment throughout the ride. And the camera angles change. You know, you don't see a virtual road or anything, at least with the current version of Peloton app. It's just you in the gym, the virtual gym with the train, trainer. But it's, it's a really cool experience. And, and I found that with the Peloton app, those 15 or 20 minutes or, you know, whatever duration ride you choose, I've got a lot of them that are a lot longer, it seems to just go by. And when it goes by, it's like, man, I, you know, you're drenched in sweat. You've got sweat all over the floor. Have to mop my floor. I mean, I'm like, this is a workout. And when I get off of my Zwift workout, yeah, I've gotten a great workout, but for me, Zwift is more of a, okay, it's a Sunday afternoon, I'm going to go somewhere where people aren't texting while driving and riding my road bike, which is nowhere to be found nowadays, unfortunately. But that's kind of the feeling I get from Zwift. It's just a casual ride, you know, getting some help, getting a healthy workout, but it's a casual ride. With Peloton, it's a, whoa, man, that was 15 or 20 minutes. I am drenched in sweat, you know, I better, I better utilize my time on the bike. You know, I got a better workout from Peloton than I did from Zwift. And again, this is just me. You know, your, your brain may be wired differently. So you may find that you like the cycling simulator aspects of Zwift. You, might, you may like the leaderboards on Zwift. That's one thing, at least with the current version of Peloton app, unless you have a Peloton branded bike. There's apparently some leaderboards and other types of functionality that may not be um, visible within Peloton unless you have a Peloton bike. With that said, the Peloton app with my own bike, which I highly recommend this bike, and you can find it linked within this video's description as well as the, the TV like I use. But uh, I find this to be a great experience. And it's... Uh, uh, the other thing, oh, Peloton, once you finish your workout, you can... You can easily sh uh, share your your uh, your success with your followers on Facebook or whatever. I found that sharing stuff from Zwift on Facebook and whatever for bragging rights with your friends or whatever is a little bit more difficult. And I'm going to say for me, Peloton is a better experience because I'm you know I'm I'm in this because I want to track the data with my Apple Watch. I want to ultimately lose weight. So for me to spend 15 or 20 minutes on Peloton and get that, um, just get that ultra hardcore workout, time is money, man. So if I'm spending 15 or 20 minutes with product A versus 15 or 20 minutes with product B, and one of the two products, I'm sweating a lot more, I feel, feel like I've had a better workout, that's what I'm going to go with. So for me, at least to this point in time, and I've got both at this point in time. I've got Zwift and Peloton, but ultimately I'm going to choose one or the other. 
Uh, for me right now, Peloton is it. So I'm going to post a follow-up video, and I hope this video helped, but I'm going to post a follow-up video within a few weeks and let you know how I feel then. Because I'm going to keep Zwift, and I'm going to keep Peloton, and I'm going to figure out which one I want to stick with. Because ultimately, I only need one paid subscription, and you know this is a tool for me to lose weight because I'm fat. So that's what this is. So the best tool is what I'm going to stick with. So what are your thoughts? Do you like Peloton app or do you like Zwift better? Or are you still in the research phase? If you're still in the research phase, ask your questions below and I'll try my best to answer. And if it's a really good question, I may even try to post a uh, video response. But these are my thoughts. Again, I'm not sponsored by either of these companies. I'm just a fat guy that used to road bike, but then people started texting while driving and, and I abandoned that and I started getting fat. So. You know, and now with the pandemic, you got the gym, you can't go in the gym, so I had to find a solution. So I've got my bike, which I love, my IC4, and I've got Peloton app and Zwift, which I like both, but at this point in time, I'm leaning towards Peloton as being my favorite of the two. Tell me what you think within the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguide. Check out all my Schwinn IC4 videos, and, uh, you know, like my channel, subscribe. And I appreciate your support and, and best of luck with your fitness goals. Y'all have a good one. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.